period drama was written by Dr. Sumerian. That's me. You can find it on the SCP Wiki in a link in the description below, and it is under Creative Commons 3.0 Sharealike Attribution License. SCP-6613. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Information asserting that SCP-6613 is a mundane parody of traditional soap operas and telenovelas has been disseminated to the public. Additional measures are unnecessary, as SCP-6613 is not strong enough to be detected by most terrestrial receivers. Description. SCP-6613 is an analog television signal in the 700 MHz range, originating from a stationary source approximately 64 kilometers above Wichita, Kansas. The content, a soap opera called Period Drama, is broadcast between 0200 and 0300 local time. The program, which is broadcast in English with poorly translated Spanish subtitles, follows the Periados, a wealthy ranch-owning family. Several subplots involve the financial and romantic troubles of the working-class individuals surrounding the central family. The individuals in the program itself are anthropoid iterations of punctuations. Their resemblance to humans varies between individuals, though each has arms, legs, and a face regardless of the type of punctuation they represent. Importantly, only named characters appear as punctuations. The remainder of characters all appear as normal humans, though they treat the characters of the drama as though they were human as well. The program is generally structured with a cold open, then opening title screen, followed by the remainder of the episode. Various commercials are presented throughout. All content broadcast alongside the program, as well as the program itself, are produced by Vikander Need Technical Media. The following is a typical example of the program's cold open. Maria Periados, a comma, is seen in a hospital bed. Jonathan Millen, a question mark, paces outside the room as a number of doctors attend to Mariah's needs. Mariah appears to be in pain, and it is slowly revealed that she is in labor and will soon give birth. Jonathan is comforted by Ruiz Sanchez, a colon. The two appear startled as Maria cries out and Jonathan bursts into the hospital room. The doctor slowly turns to face the camera with a bundled child and speaks. It's... It's a semicolon. The camera pans over to Ruiz, who is standing at the door. There is a delay of 3.4 seconds as the sound of a crying child can be heard in the background, and the camera slowly zooms in on Ruiz's face. Smash cut to black. The title card slowly fades in. Period drama. Episode 96, The Pregnant Pause. Attempts to find the source of SCP-6613 broadcast have proved unsuccessful. Thank you very much for watching. I was going to do a bit more of an in-depth video today, but uh, some stuff happened yesterday that took up uh, a little bit of my energy and time. So uh, we'll try and put that off until at least Tuesday, maybe uh, maybe Thursday. It's one of those things where it's like you want to make a really good video, and so it takes a lot longer. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought I'd do a little reading of this SCP I wrote a couple of days ago. No, it's like four days ago, I think now. Uh, it's doing pretty good. It's plus 77, but you know, give it a look. If you like it, you, you know, great. And if you didn't like it, <laughs> I still got you. Anyway... <laughs> I love writing feg hoots for the SCP Wiki, and if you don't know what a feg hoot is, you can look them up. But they're essentially um, stories that are built to contextualize an ending pun. In this particular case, the pregnant pause. Although the name of it is also period drama, which is its own uh, pun title. But yeah, good times. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday. Nope, Tuesday. I got it wrong. <laughs> it's Thursday now. <laughs>